all you're doing. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to go over my spring bulb order. So I have currently got a lot of bulbs that I still need to plant. So we are kind of like getting to the middle of November and I still have literally so many bulbs to plant. But I thought it'd be just nice to go through what I bought because um, <laughs> every year I say, no, nope, I'm all right. I don't need to buy any more plants. And then every year I, uh, I buy more bulbs. <laughs> but any of you guys like that too, because they're just so pretty. I like just love looking at bulbs and then you're like, oh yes. And then, you know, you just end up spending like loads of money on bulbs. So I'm just gonna start going through it. So I actually did an order on Farmer Gracie. So I don't know if any of you guys have heard of them. Not sponsored by the way, I just really like them. They're a company in the Netherlands and they grow bulbs and they do really good quality bulbs as well. So I love ordering from them. Um, and I've done that, oh, I don't know, quite a few times actually. I've ordered quite a few bulbs from them. So I'm always really happy with the results. So I'm just gonna go <laughs> and take bags because I, I think, I don't even remember what I have in here. So, because I know I have duplicates of stuff. So I might just uh, take some stuff out. Yeah, so I have duplicates. So I bought 10 bulbs of the honey garlic. And I'll put the uh, picture up so you guys can see what it is. I really like these. They're really dainty looking. They're like little bells that like, you know, it's like five little bells that hang down. It's really gorgeous color. And they're really good for the bees as well. So they're really rich in nectar, which is why I wanted to get more of them because the bees love this, it's like a magnet for the bees. So I know I only got 10, but you know, bulb sale is around right now. So <laughs> I won't be surprised if I actually do come home with more because that's what happened. <laughs> but yeah, there's those. I just put them off to the side. Then I got a anemone mistral fuchsia. So I think this is Excuse me, I'm having like the issues with my like allergies at the moment. I don't even know what is going on. It's like, ah, it's like my nose it just isn't, it's not working properly. So these are an Italian anemone. I don't think I'm going to plant them now because I think it's just going to be too wet because we have just had rain upon rain and we're expecting even more rain. So <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is start these in late winter like early spring in the greenhouse, pre-sprout them and then plant them out and then I think they'll do better that way. Then I also got some more anemones. So these are Mr. <laughs> Every time I see this, I'm just like, oh God. Mr. Yeah, you can you can read the name, I think. Mr. Mr. Yep. I already have had these. They didn't grow very well for me last year and I don't know why because they were in a container. I think I only had three of them come up and there are 20 in here. So I don't know like what I did wrong with those. So I thought, eh, you know, I'm gonna try it again. Again, I'm gonna pre-sprout them probably at the same time that I do the Italian anemones. So I might do 10, like just plant them out now and then 10 in like early spring and see like what the difference is because these should be hardy in my zone, but you know, they just seem to disappear. So I don't know like what's going on or what I'm doing wrong, but I'm gonna try again with those. And then I got some mascari. I can't remember, I'm sure, I'm not sure if these are just the plain blue ones. So I got 25 of the um, plain blue mascari. And these are just, they're gorgeous. Again, great uh, bulbs to have for the bee, like the pollinators. I just was like, what the hell? It's so windy, we've got another storm today. So I'm just looking outside and just craziness is happening outside. It's so windy, it's just stopped raining luckily. So I have a little bit of light to film, which is why I'm trying to try to speed through this before I lose the light. But yeah, it's like so windy that there's like, uh, anyway. So yeah, these are really good for your pollinators and they're just cute. They just look adorable. You can get so many different colors. I think this is just like the normal blue ones. So I already have some of these and I just thought I might actually put some of them in the grass as well. So I have uh, an area of the grass where I've planted a lot of crocus and snowdrops. They didn't come up this year, so I'm hoping they'll come up next year. And then I thought, how cute would it be as well to have some mascari in the grass as well? Because again, these are quite dwarf, they don't grow very high, and it would just look really cute, I think. So that's probably what's going to happen with those. What else have I got in here? Then I got some fritillaria. So these are the snakehead fritillaria. Again, I planted some of these in the ground. They didn't do very well, which is very weird. So I don't know if something ate them, or they just rotted away like I have no idea so again I planted these in the grass 
maybe two came up and there's 30 in here. <laughs> so uh, I did also part them in pots and they did way better in pots but I want them to naturalise. I want it to be like a naturalised bulb so I'm going to try again with like a different area of grass and see if it's going to do any better. I know last year it was like it was like a bog it wouldn't stop raining so maybe that's why even though I heard that they do like moisture so I don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with that and then I got <laughs> if I can even get out ah this giant amaryllis bulb like I've I've only ever seen these giant bulbs not that often and like it's huge so this one is amaryllis nymph it's got a picture on it I don't know if you guys can see I'm trying to like get all out of the shade. I'm gonna put another one next to it. But yeah, I'm I'm impressed. So I definitely need to get this potted up so hopefully it'll bloom in time for Christmas. So those are all of my um bulbs from the Netherlands that I bought. Even though I'm sure the majority of these that you buy in the shop anyway are from the Netherlands. But I've got this really weird angle now <laughs> of the sun like right in my eye. So I'm gonna Maybe if I like hover around here. Okay, and then I went to one of my local garden centres and I picked up some tulips. So, uh, alliums and tulips and some daffodils. So for alliums, I love alliums. Like they are just, they are such a cool plant and I just love the little pom-poms that just emerge and you've got different sizes, different colours. They're just awesome. And again, they are very pollinator friendly, which is what I want to try and do more of. I just want to have more kind of nectar and pollen available to all of the pollinators that we have, you know, that they may need it at any different time of the year. So I'm trying to get better at kind of having different bulbs at different time of spring, if that makes sense, like spring, early summer bulbs, so that there's always going to be something that they, they can have access to. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the first alliums that I got are Allium aflatuense. <laughs> Not sure if I pronounced that cor correctly. So I think I bought three packets of these, so that's 15 of them, and I'm gonna try and do like a little grouping space them around the border. Um, these do really well in my soil, even though it's kind of heavy clay soil. They seem to come back, so cross the fingers that, <laughs> that they, uh, they grow again this year. And then I got um, Allium gladiators. So these were on sale and these never go on sale for this good of a price. So I actually bought six of these and I wish I would have bought more. So I might actually go back and see if they have any more and get like another 10, 10 bulbs because these are the giant ones. So these get to like 150 centimeters and they can get like up to 20 centimeters across like blooms, like really big bloom heads. And I love to dry them. This year wasn't such a success. I left them in the garden shed, something fell in them and they all squished. But Every year I try and save them, dry them to use for Christmas decorations. So I highly recommend these ones. These are really easy to grow. And then these are one of my favorite daffodils. So these are the uh, pheasant's eye. These have a really good fragrance and they're just gorgeous. Like they are such a like gorgeous daffodil. If you've never seen them in real life, I highly recommend getting them because they are they are just a gorgeous daffodil again. They've got not, it's not a gross fragrance. Some of the daffodils, oh my god, nope, cannot deal. I cannot deal with the smell. These are really nice. Again, 30 centimeters high. I might try and put them again in the grass because I already have some daffodils in the grass. They didn't come up this year for some reason. I don't know if it's because it was just too dry and like hardly any of the bulbs in the area came up or again, maybe they rotted because it got too wet. I don't know. But got some of these, so I have, I think, 20 of these. How many is in a pack? I'm short, am I blank? 10, yeah, so I got 20 of these, so I can put some in, um, my brain just went blank there, <laughs> so I can put some in pots as well. And then I got some tulips, so I got, I think, uh, 21 of these, they're called Grand Perfection, I'll put a picture out. These are so gorgeous, so I had these, and they grew in, part shade last year and they were gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous so I was like I need more of these in my life so I bought 21 of these to put in probably a few pots grouped together because I think that would look really nice so I'm looking forward to those and then I got a tulip daydream yeah I don't remember what those look like but I'm sure they were again really gorgeous and I wanted them so again those and then I got these are really similar so these are called carnival de rio but I the Carnival de Rio I have are different. But I feel like Grand Perfection and Carnival de Rio are very similar. So they just have this like gorgeous variegation of colour on the uh, flowers. 
and again they just look stunning and especially if you have them planted on mass gorgeous they just look gorgeous so I'm so excited I can't remember if I only got one pack of this before I got more I, I have a feeling I have some more but we'll find out when I go through the rest of my bag <laughs> and then nope we've looked at those and then I've already planted some of these so these are what are these ones these are queen of night so I have queen of night and I've also got Ronaldo I think they're called so they are just these really dark tulips and again these are so gorgeous now you can plant them by themselves and you can also mix them in with other colors so last year I had this and I think it was a, a lovely like bright red tulip together oh my god stunning so again highly recommend these these are amazing and this is a late tulip so this blooms I think it's more towards stuff's going around I think it's like May I want to say but again it's going to depend on the weather because like, this year everything was messed up it was late who knows what's going to happen again next year if they're going to things are going to bloom on time or not we'll find out <laughs> and then I got these early apricot fox so they're just a really gorgeous I don't know if you can see like this pale orange color and I don't know I feel like maybe these two would go really well together you know I don't know we'll have to see <laughs> I mean I've got I've got quite a few like varieties to kind of like sift through and see what's gonna look good together so yeah that's just a snippet of my bulb order uh, I think I have some more let me just have a look yeah so then I just bought a couple of um, like crocus your bog stand crocus some more snowdrops and that's it really so I have to get all of these in the ground I have no idea when I'm gonna be able to do that because the forecast is looking that and that's so great. Um, I might go outside like now because it looks like we're getting a little bit of a break in the, in the weather so I might be able to you know get out and get a few things planted which would be great because like I said weather's on the on the mm, uh, you know I don't really want to be out there in, in like pouring rain planting bulbs because that's just not fun. <laughs> so are you guys still planting bulbs? Have you gotten a crazy on the bulb uh, you know the bulb journey? Uh, if so let me know what kind of bulbs that you guys have bought and um, like what kind of bulbs do you like so I, I always go tulips eh, you know they don't really naturalize very well I love the species tulips I've already planted some of those and they are gorgeous and they come back reliably year after year these normal ones I feel like it's just such a, a faff you know I feel like you have to buy them new every year so I feel like while I do love tulips, this might be one of those bulbs that I just stop buying because I feel like it's just a bit of a waste of money. Like, we spend so much money on tulips just to throw them away. Um, I don't know. You know, again, I've tried lifting them and replanting them. I don't know what's going to happen. Normally, they don't come back very well, so uh, I'm probably going to try that again this year. We'll see. This year? It's going to be next year. I keep saying this year. <laughs> it's like Christmas soon. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on bulbs and tulips and all of that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and i'll catch you guys soon with another one bye